When I see Megan, I see a woman who stands for peace. A woman with a very kind and compassionate heart. A very good heart. A forgiving heart. A woman who's so, so nice and kind. Everyone who has ever met Megan says the exact same thing about Megan. Everyone. Her suit castmate, who Megan worked with for years, say the exact same thing about Megan. Megan is a good woman with a very, very remarkable, peaceful, kind-hearted heart. When I see Kim Milton, I see a different story. I see someone who just does not want any peace. Someone who is pro-war, pro-confrontation, my family. Someone who derives pleasure in causing pain to others. Like what she did to Megan before Megan's wedding. My family, Kay Moulton has never ever been the peacemaker. She has always been the troublemaker. My family, I want to read you Harry's memoir, Spare. But before that, I want to say this, my family. I want to say this. The only thing that was wrong that Megan said in the Oprah interview with Harry and Megan that I myself don't agree with Megan. Megan, I love you, but I don't agree with you on this. Kay Moulton is not a good person. Megan, in the Oprah interview with Harry Megan, referred to Kay Moulton as someone who is a good person. That is what Megan said. But does a good person make an amazing, kind-hearted woman like Megan shed tears before her wedding? Is that the actions? Of a good person. Of a good human being. Are those the actions. Of a good human being. A good woman. My family. Because I never had a story. Of Kay Moulton. Being made to cry. As she was planning. Her wedding. At her wedding. I never ever. Saw that. I never saw any story. About them, my family. But yet, Kate made Megan cry. And then what's worse is that she lied that it was Megan who was the one who made her cry. And when Harry and Megan wanted a correction to that story, they were told they cannot correct that story. They cannot correct that lie. The palace won't correct those lies. You know what? The palace never ever even needed to say that it was Kate who made Megan cry. They only needed to say the story is false. That's all they needed to do. But that's something they were uninterested in doing. And my family, what does that show? It shows us that Kimoten has never been for peace. She has always been someone who wants to cause trouble. Someone who's happy to see the newspapers pit her against Megan, but pit her in a good light, but for Megan in a negative light. Because someone who is good will oppose being pitted against a friend. A in law, a fellow woman, my family. But Kim Moulton was happy to see the double media targeting Megan. She was happy to see them attacking Megan while get, giving her good press. My family, that shows us who Kim Moulton is. And she's someone who has never been a peacemaker. She has always been someone who wants this confrontations my family that is what she has always liked 
and my family, I'll go right ahead to Harry's memoir to read when Kate made Megan cry. My family. Now here is what Harry said, and I quote. The next day, Megan had a text from Kate. There was a problem with the dresses for the bridesmaids. Apparently, they needed altering. The dresses were French couture, hand sewn from measurements only. So it wasn't a big shock that they might need altering. Megan did not reply to Kate straight away. Yes, she had endless wedding related texts, but mostly she was dealing with the chaos surrounding her father, Thomas Markle. So the next morning, she texted Kate that our tailor was standing by at the palace. His name was AJ. This wasn't sufficient. They set up a time to speak that afternoon. Charlotte's dress is too big, too long, too baggy. She cried when she tried it on at home, Kate said. Right. And I told you, the tailor has been standing by since 8 a.m. to help you. K. Moulton, here, right here at Kensington Palace, close to your home, you don't even need to go anywhere else. The tailor is here. AJ has been here since 8 a.m. waiting to help you. You don't even need to go anywhere. The tailor is just there, close to you. Just go to him. Megan then told Kimilton, can you take Charlotte to have it altered as the other moms are doing? No, Kate told Megan, clearly with a temper. All the dresses need to be remade and that is an order, my family. That is an order that Kate gave Megan. Kimilton has never ever been a peacemaker. She has always been a troublemaker. Our actions tell us, give us an idea of what Kimilton is and what she has done. It gives us the gist to our character, my family, of who she is, my family. My family, it is not your wedding. It's Megan's wedding. You've had your wedding. It's Megan's wedding. Can't you just allow her to have a moment? Can't you just do? What she's telling you to do. And also, Kim Milton did not need to go anywhere. The tailor was there to help Kim Milton and her daughter Charlotte. The tailor was there at Kensington Palace, my family. They brought the tailor there. And they've been waiting since 8 a.m. to help Kim Milton and Charlotte. But Megan had a problem. Other moms did what they were asked, except Kimilton. Other moms did what they were told. Did the right thing. My family, if they had a problem with their dresses, the tailor was there to help. They did that, with the exception of Kimilton, who said no, and then gave an order to Megan. All the dresses need to be remade. My family, on one hand, we are having Prince William, whereby in Harry's memoir, spare, Harry tells us William also was ordering Harry to shave his beard. My family, it's Harry's wedding. The queen was okay with Harry having his beard for his wedding, my family. William had a problem with it. My family, instead of Harry enjoying his bachelor party, he was busy being 
you know, careful with Prince William, afraid that William and his friends would forcefully grab Harry and shave his beard by force. My family, that is what Harry and Meghan have been up against. People who've always wanted to cause them pain, suffering, to abuse them, to mistreat them, do not even allow Harry and Meghan to enjoy their own wedding. They were causing problems before Harry and Meghan's wedding. You know, Meghan stands for peace. Harry stands for peace. William and Camelton, on the other hand, stand for something very, very different that is not peace. They have shown jealousy. Both of them have caused problems to Harry and Meghan before Harry and Meghan's wedding. My family, I have read Harry's memoir spare. And Harry was super supportive of Prince William when he was getting married. Harry wasn't even the best man, but he did everything that William told him to do. For example, tabloids had come up with lies that Harry gave this best man speech. But yet, Harry, my family, there were other people who are the best man for Prince William. Harry was not. And Harry only gave a small address and then welcomed the real best men, Prince William's best men, the real ones, to give an address at William and Kate's wedding. And my family, Harry never caused any problems. He did exactly what William and Kate wanted. That was their day. But when time came, when it was Harry and Meghan's day, my family, William and Kimuthan, would not even allow Harry and Meghan to breathe in peace. To have their time together, you know, just to enjoy that they were getting married. William and Kimuthan were the ones who were causing problems to Harry Megan. My family. My family, here is what also happened. But first of all, Camelton had no right whatsoever to order Megan to do anything on Megan's wedding. It's Megan's wedding, not Kate's wedding. Camelton had no right to demand that all the dresses to be remade just a few days before the wedding. My family, Kay Milton even, spoke with a wedding dress designer. Can you imagine that? It is not her wedding, but Kay Milton contacted her wedding dress designer. Just kindly hear this, my family. The amount of carrying and the trouble that Harry and Meghan, you know, went through before their wedding, my family, it will tell you exactly who Kay Milton and William truly are. Just kindly hear this. Our own wedding dress designer agreed that dresses need to be remade. Kate added, My family, why would Kim Moulton consult her wedding dress designer? It is not your wedding. It is not your wedding. You know, my family, when William would ignore Kim Moulton, Harry would give Kim Moulton attention. Clearly, my family, that attention got to Kay Milton's head. That perhaps she began thinking something, you know, else. My family, there are photos of Kay Milton looking at Harry in ways where you don't look at your brother-in-law in that manner. My family, like when they were having this campaign, my family. I don't know what's his name, my family. Is it Heads Together? There were photos whereby Kate was looking at Harry, Harry's lips, my family, in a way that you just don't look at your brother-in-law in that manner. So my family, you know, and then on right before Harry and Meghan's wedding, Kate is consulting her own wedding dress designer. Kate, it's not you who is marrying Harry. 
It's Megan who is marrying Prince Harry. My family. And then Megan asked if Kate was aware of what was going on right now with her father. Kate said she was well aware. But the dresses and the wedding is in four days. Yes, Kate, I know. And Kate had other problems with the way that Megan was planning her wedding. You know, I, I love this part. I, I love this part. I love this part whereby Harry said, Kate had problems with the way Megan was planning her wedding. My family, if that doesn't tell you, you know, that the behavior of Kay Milton was of someone who wanted to cause trouble, the most trouble before Harry and Meghan's wedding. And also Prince William, Kate wasn't alone. Kate was not alone, my family. She was not alone in what she was doing, my family. William also was causing trouble to Harry. My family and Harry says, and Kate had other problems with the way Meghan was planning her wedding. Her own wedding. It is not Kim Milton's wedding, my family. It's like going to someone else's wedding and be like, I don't like this. I don't like that. It's not your wedding. It isn't your wedding. It's Harry and Meghan's wedding. My family. Harry then says this, my family. Something about a party for the page boys. The page boys, half the kids in the wedding are from North America. They haven't even arrived yet. It went back and forth. Kate causing problems. My family clearly wanting a confrontation. I'm not sure what else to say. If the dress does not fit, please take Charlotte to see AJ. He's been waiting all day. Fine. A short time later, I arrived home and found Megan on the floor, sobbing. I was horrified to see her so upset, but I did not think it a catastrophe. Emotions were running high, of course. After the stress of the last week, the last month, the last day, it was intolerable, but temporary. Kate had not meant any harm, I told her. Indeed, the next morning, Kate came by with flowers and a card and said that she was sorry. Megan's best friend, Lindsay, was in the kitchen when she turned up. Simple misunderstanding, I told myself. My family, you know, what I see here, my family, is someone like Kimothe and William. All of them just wanted a war with Harry and Meghan. A war on Harry and Meghan's happiness. They, they could not stand seeing Harry and Meghan in love, being happy. They did not want for Harry and Meghan to have a moment of peace. Even planning their wedding. Kate saw that she could dictate to Meghan what she should do on her wedding day. My family, those are the actions of someone who is a bitter Karen, a bitter, jealous Karen, my family. We all know that William and Kimbleton did not marry for love. William did not marry Kimbleton because he loved Kimbleton. My family. And clearly, it shows. No wonder when Megan was planning her wedding with Harry, Kate was contacting her own wedding dress designer to give her opinions, my family. Utter hypocrisy, my family. And it's just so wrong. It's so, so wrong. On someone else's wedding, you do that. It is just not okay. It is just so, so wrong, my family. And my family, I'm happy that Harry mentioned that you know, Megan's best friend, Lindsay, was there. I'm very, very happy about that. That Harry mentioned that Megan's best friend 
Lindsay was there. Because you do know the royal family and the tablets would like to say that, oh no, Megan ain't telling the truth. It's her who made Kate cry. Because that's a lie that has festered on the minds of people for a long, long time until Megan corrected that lie in the Oprah interview. And even after she corrected that lie, still, you had some people questioning what Megan said, my family. But when they were lied to that it was Megan who made Kate cry, they believed it. When Megan corrected that lie, they were like, we don't believe it. Can it really be true? No, she must be lying. But when it was Megan, when the lie was about Megan, they believed it. The story of those who hate on Harry Megan, they believe anything that said about Harry Megan. Anything. My family, they believe anything and everything said about Harry Megan. You know? Just a couple of days ago, it was about Harry Megan, you know, separating a clear lie which Nacho Figueras, a friend of Prince Harry Meghan, called BS. And then, yesterday, to this day, it's about Harry and Meghan once again. They are saying that Harry Meghan wanted to hit a ride on Air Force One. Also, another proven lie. My family, you know, sadly, there are some people who just enjoy being lied to about Harry Meghan. You know? There are some people who just enjoy being lied to about Harry Meghan. You know what? I remember something about what Rupert Murdoch reportedly said about, you know, Fox News that he owns in the U.S. When they have been confronted with those election lies, my family, and they have had to pay, you know, this dominion more than $787 million because they know they lied about elections being stolen. I recall what Rupert Murdoch said. He said that, reportedly, that if we start speaking the truth, viewers would switch to Newsmax, to another media outlet, another right-wing media outlet, and he does not want that. People love some people, not all, some people, they like to be lied to. No wonder you can read a nonsense story that even your own mind tells you that is just bogus. You can see a nonsense headline written about Terry Megan. Your mind will tell you it's just bogus. Like this recent story about, you know, Harry Megan wanting to go on, you know, inside Air Force One. And yet, Obviously, we all saw that Harry and Meghan were right there, even after the public funeral service. Harry and Meghan went to an, attend other events, my family, and even were there during the private ceremony with members of the royal family where they laid the queen to rest. Everyone knows that. It's a matter of common sense. But some people, they like to be lied to. They like to be lied to. You know? They like to be lied to. They don't like to hear the truth. You know, especially in anything having to do with Harry Meghan. You can make up anything and someone will believe it. My family, you know, the point of me making this video was just to say this, that Kim Wilson, is not someone who seeks peace. She's someone who just wants war and confrontation and enjoys seeing the tablets attacking Megan and giving her good press. She likes it. She enjoys it. That's why she never once ever corrected that lie that it was Megan who made Kate cry when she was the one who made Megan cry. So my family. You know, Megan is the one who is a peacemaker. Someone who loves peace. And Megan is someone who's forgiving. She even says that Kim Wilson is a good person. My family, 
I have to disagree with Megan on that. Good people don't do what was done to Megan even before Megan's wedding. My family. Good people don't cause so much stress to the bride before a wedding like what Kate did to Megan and what William did to Harry. My family. Megan may not be furious or angry with Kim Hilton. Megan may have also forgiven Kim Hilton for what she did. But public opinion will never ever be on Megan's side, especially for people of color. We have seen what Megan has been through. My family, we won't forget. We won't forget what Kate did unless Kim Hilton apologizes and says sorry to Megan because as of now, they have never ever said sorry to Megan. Until they do, we'll always call them out and demand accountability for the pain they've caused Megan. My family, Megan stands for peace. Kate stands for war. Confrontation. And my family, you know, Megan has a good heart, a very, very good heart. A very, very good heart, my family, a very, very good heart. And Harry truly was lucky to someone find someone who is kind-hearted, you know, as Megan. Harry found a good woman in Megan. And I'm happy that she has, he has fought to protect that love. I'm happy about that, my family. So my family, I believe that I've said enough kindly. Now, tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I'd like to hear your opinion. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertina, and Doria Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. May no weapon formed against Harry and Megan prosper. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hate never wins. Love wins. And no weapon formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipitana, and Dory Raglan shall ever, ever prosper. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Choose love, not hate. Kate truly has just chosen hate. Whoa. Against Harry and Megan. But hate will never win. Love wins, my family. Love wins. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And Harry and Megan will always triumph over Kate and William. Even without competing with them. They'll always be on top. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of the Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.